Yeah, g'day, guys. Thanks for watching this TV. As you see on the ground now, that's a 70-year-old lady about to get pushed over. Yep, and here comes a little guy, a little midget copper. He comes in to spray his face because he's such a short guy that he couldn't be anything else but a police officer because being such a short guy with small man syndrome, that police officer back there had to have special uh, abilities to become a police officer because he's so short, because he's got short man syndrome and he had to become powerful and become a police officer. And this is how they do things in Australia now. They spray pepper into people's faces. Yes, trying to sound like Aussie Man Reviews, but this is my style. I'm not trying to sound like Aussie Man Reviews because I'm older than Aussie Man and I've always spoken like this. So if you fuckers out there don't like the way I'm fucking speaking and think that I'm trying to copy Aussie Man, well, go fuck you, fuck yourself and fuck yourself like these coppers. These coppers are cunts. Look at this copper hit this guy here. Watch him try and smash this guy in the fucking head. Yeah, that's right. Smash the guy in the head. Yeah, you're a tough cunt, copper. Yeah, you joined the police force just so you could bash up fucking innocent fucking protesters that aren't vote protesting violently because the only violence that occurs is when the police officer starts spraying fucking pepper at people. But if they just let the people fucking protest, there'd be no fucking violence and no issue and everyone would just walk through and go home. So the police are there trying to block every cunt and they say, oh, we kept it to Richmond because they wouldn't let him into the city. So this is what they have to do. Throw punch Punches, just like that pig there. And watch this pig here. He's up there. He's throwing his fucking pepper spray. Yep, there goes a water bottle. Lucky it didn't scone the cunt in the head. Wished it had him. Sorry, police. All the good police out there. But all the cunt cops, you know who you are. You can go and fuck off. All you coppers are cunts. Yes, that's right. Look at these fucking assholes here. Push this 70 year old lady over here. There she goes to the ground, smashes her head. Doesn't want to render assistance, but a little short man with the fucking capsicum spray is ready to go in there and spray her because he's a midget. Yes, you're a fucking short man. You're a guy who grew up with short man syndrome. Sorry to offend any midgets out there. I shouldn't have used that word. But you are a fucking short man, mate, and you should be ashamed of your fucking self. Look at you. Yeah, I'm a tough guy. I'm a fucking police officer with the fucking pepper spray, and I'm going to get some people. Look at the cunt. He is a fucking arsehole. Look at him. They are the ones creating this violence. So anyone out there who thinks that the police aren't creating violence, fuck you. Because you are not watching this fucking media. You are watching what you see on the Channel 7 News. And one thing that I notice on the mainstream media is that they all say, oh, violent protesters. You all start off the same. The fucking protest should be about journalists. Everybody, the next protest should be about journalism. It's not fucking illegal to protest in this country. And now that it's becoming illegal, we are now a fucking communist state. Fuck you, people. Fuck you, people of the fucking blue uniform. Fuck you all.